Two stops will essentially be tune-ups for big events. We'll head off to San Antonio late March and April, just a few weeks before the World Team Trials for the United States. And then Mission Viejo in California in early June will serve as a prime performance evaluator for those athletes getting ready to go to the World Championships now in Budapest, Hungary in mid-June. And I can bet you in San Antonio, everybody and their mother is going to be there. <laughs> Not only this group right here, but now all the college kids are going to end up being there. It's going to be a great meet in well, San Antonio. Speaking of talented performers, how about this high schooler, Claire Kurzan? in surging her way to a spot of the Tokyo Olympic team for the U.S., one of a handful of high schoolers that really took the Olympic trials in Omaha by surprise. That was in the 100 fly. We'll see her later in that, but right now in the 200 back. Just five swimmers in this, four teenagers, including 15-year-old Tegan O'Dell from Irvine Nova Aquatics in California. Then there's 14-year-old Vera Connick from Palantine Park District swim team here in the Chicago area. She's in lane four alongside that Olympian in Claire Kurzan, silver from relay, new personal best in her heat in this race for the young woman from North Carolina, Olivia Smoliga, 27-year-old vet, two-time Olympian, 2019 world champion of the 50 back and bronze in the 100 back of those worlds. She's in lane six, and Quinlan Hinterfield from Fort Collins area swim team, the 18-year-old in lane number seven. And there is Smaliga. Fine resume for her at the World Championship level two. Third in the 103 rally at this meet. And talking with us last night about her new training home in Arizona with Bob Bowman. And she's been such a great representative for USA Swimming over her illustrious career and I was talking to her yesterday about how fun is it to swim here in your you know, quote unquote hometown, right? She's from Glen Glenview, about a half an hour from here. And she said, you know, my whole career, I've never been in a situation. She told us this I mean, last night. She told, I've never really been in a situation where I could swim a big meet, you know, in my hometown. That's really cool. Yeah, she was among those really eyeballing this facility again, open September of 2020 here outside of downtown Chicago, great resource for the swimming community here. And now for these top flight athletes right now, as you might expect, middle of the pool with these performers like Kurzan and Smoliga ahead of some of the other teams. Dell trying to hang with those two Olympians from the United States right now who set themselves apart from the rest of the group at this junction. 101 plus for both of them right there together. Kurzan probably has a little bit better underwater based on her sensational butterfly. Underwater is such a huge part now of backstroke and, and butterfly, especially actually all the strokes really, but specifically back and fly. And you can see the rotation, the tempo a little quicker than Shmaliga. And that's a little misleading because Shmaliga is what, 6162. So her tempo is not going to be quite as quick. But Kurzan had a great third 50 there. She's out split Shmaliga there by a full second just on that 50 alone. There, Kurzan in lane five ahead of Olivia Smoliga and trying to make it stand up. We're entering the latter stages here. Yeah, she went her best time in the prelims. Uh, that's 2.099, the fastest time in the world this year. Well, that's out there. The Olympic gold medal is Kayla McEwen at 2.04. She's not going to do that. She's going to throw down a good one. Certainly is, and it's going to best Smoliga and the rest of this field to grab the win here. 207.31 for a new personal best for Claire Kurzan here by almost two and a half seconds. Boy, that's... That's pretty quick. Now, if 204 is the fastest time, 210 was the second fastest time. So she just went by that by three seconds. And Smoliga, Olivia Smoliga at 27, pay her off a little bit there, Jason, because she goes 2093. That's just off her lifetime best of 208 minutes. So both of them swimming really well here in Chicago. And you could just see that. Kurzan just seems a little 